Today, I've put every single NBA legend back on the team that drafted them. If a legend stayed loyal during their career, congrats, they have not been moved. In the case of uh, <clears throat> some less loyal legends just packing up and heading out at any given time, I've returned those dudes to their original landing spot, albeit not as a rookie, but in their prime. While those moves probably won't shock anybody, we all know a little bit of NBA history. Uh, where this roster gets crazy is with legends returned to their teams that drafted them only to immediately trade them away, oftentimes on draft day. No, seriously, the amount of times I went, whoa, that's where this dude was drafted while building this roster? I mean, it speaks to just how epic this video is probably gonna be. Let's get on with it. All right, we got a lot of rosters to show you guys here. First, the biggest movers and shakers in a positive direction, the all-time Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, Dirk Nowitzki traded on draft day, just a horrible decision. He joins Kareem and Giannis, as does Dr. J, who before he went to the ABA, almost ended up on Milwaukee with Kareem and Big O. Unfortunately, Oscar is not on this team. He wasn't drafted by them, but they still look amazing. Obviously, I put Kobe in the intro. I, I probably put him on the thumbnail too. Future J probably did. You knew this was coming. The all-time Charlotte Hornets look so good with Kobe and Shea. Yes, Shea was traded to the Clippers by Charlotte and then to OKC. That's a crazy duo. But no team got a bigger facelift in this video than the freaking Atlanta Hawks. They might win this whole thing. Yes, Bill Russell. Not only Bill, but Bob Cousy, who I didn't... He was drafted by Atlanta and refused to play for them. It's kind of crazy. Also, yeah, Luka Doncic, uh, possible MVP in real life. And I should take a second to point out now, people get confused will comment. Yes, Luka was technically drafted by the Hawks, even though we knew he was being traded to Dallas. I used whatever team is listed as their drafted team from basketball reference, which in Luca's case is Atlanta. I kept that consistent for everybody, okay? Sounds good to me. There were a few teams that uh, didn't get many huge moves, but still look really dominant on paper. The all-time 76ers, Joel Allen Iverson, Charles Barkley is back there. Uh, this dude, Bill Melchioni, I think an ABA legend. Why not? One of the aforementioned uh, loyal legends, Michael Jordan, is here on the all-time Bulls with D. Rose, Artis Gilmore, or they pick up Elton Brand, Mo Lucas, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, a lot of depth pieces. Ron Artest, that's right. The all-time Thunder slash Sonics. I don't, did I even touch this roster at all? They've got everybody back in their prime, which is sick, but this is just an amazing drafting franchise. Like, it's really that simple. A couple teams here that I think are sneaky fun, as in, I don't think this all-time Magic team with Shaq, with Chris Webber, with the Monis Sabonis Victor, I, I don't think they're going to be great, but they could be fun. Same goes for the Mavericks, actually. Jason Kidd ended his career there, won a ring, but remember, he was drafted by... By Dallas too. Um, so is Mark Price, Jalen Brunson, Trey Young. They got too many point guards, dude. But if they can figure it out, a four guard lineup, maybe? The Spurs are really funny too. They are really strong drafting. I mean, they drafted a dynasty, Duncan Robinson, Parker Ginobili, and then we add Victor to the fold. Not much else, but uh, what can Vic do with all them legends? As a side note, there's a few teams here, a few franchises that I'm just, I am appalled at how bad they are at drafting. Look at Miami. I mean, they've been around for enough years that they should have more studs that they have drafted like nobody. Same goes for the all-time Nets. Um, they, I think they entered the NBA right around during the 80s with the Heat. I think I, sh I should have looked that up. I was just appalled again at how poor they drafted in their history. They're going to do nothing this video. The Pacers, uh, maybe I'm disrespecting them by putting them in this category. They do have Kawhi and Paul George, which is awesome with Reggie Miller. I just thought like Indiana, the state of basketball, the Hoosier state, well, th I thought they'd be better. And finally, the all-time Pelicans. It is disrespectful to put them in this category because the Pelicans draft history only goes back to 2003. So obviously they are the weakest roster, but maybe their big three can go wild. That is a lot of rosters I've just showed you. There's even more. There's there's a lot of good teams here. I'll try and show as much during this video as I can, but uh, I should also point out there is one team that is most likely going to ruin all our fun. And <laughs> as I built this roster, the, the Golden State Warriors specifically, I considered scrapping this video because look how dominant they How is this team going to lose? Will Steph Curry Yes, that is Vince Carter right there. Oh yeah, it's also Prime, Penny Hardaway, uh, Gilbert Arenas, Robert Parrish. Why not? Um, th these dudes have Draymond playing in the G League. That is how stacked they are. Golden State in the 90s was so chaotic too. They drafted Penny Hardaway, then traded him with a bunch of first round picks for Chris Webber, who only played for them for one season. Literally one year later at the draft, they trade C. Webb to Washington for Tom Gugliotta and a bunch of first round picks, another L. But, but one of those picks they would use on Vince Carter, only to immediately 
trade Vince Carter at that draft in 1998 for Anton Jameson, a huge W for the Raptors, huge L for the Warriors. Anyways, long story short, all those trades being reset, I think Golden State is going to go 78 and 4 and wreck this video. But there's only one way to find oh, out. Oh, and one last thing. I put every undrafted legend into the free agent pool. There aren't that many studs, but George, Mike, and man, if one of those uh, horrible drafting teams can pick him up or maybe a Ben Wallace, that would be clutch. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, there you go. Golden State Warrior, uh, Wilt Chamberlain takes home MVP. It's it's th this video. Okay, okay. Let me not get too crazy here. Victor takes home Rookie of the Year for San Antonio. Nice. Kevin Durant. What? What are the Thunder doing with their rotation? All right, KD wins six, man. Oh, Scotty Pippen wins DPOY. So oh, they they did. You could have started KD and Scotty, but but go off. And Kevin Garnett for the Timberwolves put up better numbers than MVP. Wilt takes home Clutch Player of the Year. All right, man. These storylines they're they're fast and furious. Wilt, uh, Kevin Garnett. Net. There's LeBron speaking of not loyal. Big O in Sacramento and T Mac going crazy for Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jokic on the all time Nuggets. CP3 on the Pels. They probably won like five games. MJ, D Wade, Derek Rose, D Wade, and the Heat probably won four games. All NBA third team Tim, so he must have worked well with Victor. Bob McAdoo, shout out to Bob. Uh, Kevin Love on the Grizzlies. That's right. Rick Barry and yay, friends. Real quick, just wanted to shout out my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Every night, every sport, Underdog has action you can get in on to enhance your sports watching. I mean, with certain scorchers, you could earn 100 times your money in a night. What? Obviously, no pressure from me, guys. But if you were considering diving into Underdog, why not support me and my channel? Use code JCAN link and more info is down below. Okay, I'll shut up now. And here we go. The playoffs. I see Golden State and Atlanta as the one seeds. No surprise there at all. Um, Nothing else is sticking out to me. We got to dive deeper. Okay, in the East, it's not that exciting. Atlanta, we knew would be dominant. Boston right on their heels. Detroit, the Knicks, the Wizards, MJ and the Bulls, the 76ers, and the Bucks with Dirk and Dr. J. Okay. It's not really exciting because the Pistons, Celtics, Knicks, Wizards, all those teams, they're pretty much identical to their original all-time teams. Like, what... They're good, but not as fun. Anyways, missing the playoffs. Brooklyn, yeah. T-Mac and the Raps. Yo, D-Wade almost won 30 games with that sad Heat squad. LeBron and the Cavs won 30 games. Are you kidding me? The rest made... Kobe and Shea, come on now. This makes me honestly want to restart this sim. Kobe and Shea, they combined uh, 18 points per game, 19 points per game. Man, they just... Uh, I guess they weren't deep enough. That's so bad. Meanwhile, the Cavs, I mean, LeBron put up monster numbers. Kyrie Irving, what's the deal here? I... I Again, maybe just not deep enough. No Kobe and Shea, no LeBron and Kyrie in the playoffs in the East. You hate to see it, but it is what it is. We got to move on. Pain. Oh, and very quickly, the Wizards who I haven't shown yet. Uh, yeah, they made the playoffs. They're very deep. They're the team that signed George Mikan. I don't, I, I, that's a lot of centers, but I guess it worked for them. Okay, into the West, we go, all right, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Golden State didn't run away with it. I, I thought for sure they were going to win 70 games. Sacramento hot on their, what? The LA, nah, now nah, hold on, hold on. Bob McAdoo always simulates well, fair enough. What is this Clippers team do? Adrian Dantley, Spencer, hey, real, this is a 50-win team, but Kobe and Shea are not, I, I'm rattled by that. Um, Congrats, Clippers fans. <laughs> Anyways, the Portland Trailblazers, yep, that makes sense. The Suns were very good. Yeah, this all checks out. Wow, the Lakers and the Thunder missed out. Well, guess you should have started Kevin Durant. Uh, that was dumb. Okay, wow, there's some shockers there. It's always worth mentioning, but when I make a video like this, every team is stupidly loaded. So yeah, it's shocking when like Kobe or Kevin Durant misses the playoffs, but it, you know, it happens. Uh, look at this Trailblazers team, for example, with Moses Malone, Fat Lever, uh, Draws and Petrovic. They're awesome. I can't lie. I'm disappointed we don't have Kobe in the playoffs. MJ, T-Mac, LeBron, Kawhi. Lots of guys putting up big numbers, missing the playoffs. Wow, Derrick Rose and Michael Jordan. Yeah, the Bulls The Bulls are going to be a problem. Donovan Mitchell on the Nuggets. There's Bob McAdoo, top 15. No Kobe, no LeBron, no problem. We can still make it happen here with some fun. Um, Yeah, uh, uh, let's get to it. Okay, and in round one, just a single game seven. We, uh, we got lots to get to in a second, but first, Sacramento and Houston going the distance. Dude, there were some crazy results in the other series, but let's focus on 
on this one for now, Game 7. Oh. Not not a clutch finish, not not anything epic, and not an upset. The two seed kings do survive. Good push from Houston, though. Calvin Murphy leading the way with 28 and 12. Why is Jalen Green getting minutes for this squad? No disrespect, but Jalen Green, I'm pretty sure, is like their 15th man. Yeah, 86 overall. Um, they Wow, they just have like no shooting guards. I, you could have played someone else at the two, uh, but well, coaching decisions, kind of weird there. Elsewhere in the West, though, all right, it starts to get a little wild. Golden State, they, they lost two games. All right, they still won the series, but they lost two games. Portland swept Denver. The Phoenix Suns upset the LA Clippers. I'm still, I still have no idea how the Clippers were a three seed, so it's not like technically an upset. No, it is technically an upset. You know what I mean, like that. How was LA a three seed? Okay, but I was left with so many more questions about the East, where in round one, Luka Doncic, Bill Russell and the Hawks were swept by Kareem Dirk and the Bucks. They were swept. I mean, I know that Bucks squad was loaded. I mentioned it a few times, but on paper, Atlanta was just, they couldn't win a game. Not not a single game. In the series below them, the 4-5 matchup. This one makes sense. The Wizards 4-2 series winners over the Knicks. Okay, fair enough. But the East was just ridiculous, man. A super strong and balanced Piston squad was quickly dusted aside by the 6 seed Bulls. MJ rose a ton of depth. I, I, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. But making far less sense, arguably the most historic team in NBA history, the Boston Celtics upset in round one. What did Joel and beat Allen Iverson and the Sixers barely broke a sweat? I mean, what? What is going on? Altogether, it's the five, six, seven, eight seed into the second round. I'm pretty sure I've never seen that. Granted, it's a lot of historic teams advancing, but it's still like, I just, I, I didn't see that coming. Atlanta and Boston specifically losing in round one. Oh, and because I just mentioned the Celtics being one of the most historic teams ever, uh, I should probably mention, I don't think I have yet. The Lakers missed the playoffs too with Magic Jerry. Wet, like, you know, they lost Kobe and Shaq. This is still a pretty freaking good all-time team. How did this Clippers team simulate to a better record than the Lakers. It's just really baffling me, but I digress. Okay, after all that chaos in the East in round one, you knew it was about to be tight in round two. We got three game sevens. I would think MJ and the Bulls, they're the better team on paper here. They got so many depth pieces. Like I mentioned, they added Ron Artest, Marcus Aldridge, etc. But Philly is hanging tough. Oh, hanging tough, but they're gonna come up just short. Um, You know what? They did the rest of the East a favor by dispatching the uh, Boston Celtics. They got them out of the way. Now the pathway is cleared for Derrick Rose, Michael Jordan, or just Gilmore inside, just rubbing it in. Okay, he missed. Anyways, we'll get back to the East in a second, but look at this. Are you kidding me? Golden State has been pushed to a game seven. Portland. Portland, your roster is sneaky awesome. Moses Malone, they got some people off the bench. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they have a chance to do something amazing. Why is Draymond starting for the Warriors? Wasn't he like in the G League? Don't they have a better power forward than that? Yo, well, do whatever you want, Steve Kerr, whoever's coaching that team. A guy like me is probably finding a way to uh, insert Vince Carter into the starting lineup there, but uh, but that's, again, that's just me. All right, Steve Kerr, do whatever you want, man. Okay, all right, maybe Steve Kerr knew what he was cooking there. Draymond in the starting lineup just for the team chemistry boost. That was a dumb foul. Fat Lever just jumped onto Steph Curry. Okay, anyways, Golden State, a three-point lead. Can they close this out? Oh, my word. Why? Okay, he put Draymond back in the game and Draymond turned it over. That was so dumb. For a second there, he had Vince Carter at the power forward like he should. Clyde misses, but that's Moses on the glass. That's what that man does. Okay, I, I, I'm back to questioning Steve Kerr. Why? Why Draymond? He's only an 89 overall. You have so many better options. Speaking of which, though, Portland doesn't have to... Oh, Mitch Richmond. Oh, Mitch Richmond bricked it. Oh my goodness, Steph. You got to take that shot, man. Okay, Portland could go two for one here. Fat lever driving inside Moses. Fouled by Wilt. I was about to crown this man give him all the flowers and he missed the free throw. He's got the second though. Tie game, 30 seconds left. I don't know if I finished my thought, but I'm wondering why Damian Lillard isn't on the court for Portland or is Clyde Drexler? Yeah, Clyde is out there. Steph is missing a potential game winner. Clyde is indeed on the court. What, they have Jermaine O'Neal standing in the corner, by the way. Draymond should literally be standing in the middle of the paint ready to defend this. But again, I'm not coaching either of these teams. Clyde Moses, a legendary pick and roll. Clyde Drexler with his signature dunk in the clutch. Wilt playing no type of defense. Nah, like I called that. Draymond had no business guarding Jermaine O'Neal on the three 
three-point line and to let Clyde not not dunk it, but do his signature dunk. That is disrespectful. Mitch Richmond, a miracle for the win, is no good. And there you have it, Portland, with the biggest upset we're gonna see in this video. It's over. It's done. And now I feel comfortable mentioning the Blazers were up 3-0 in that series and nearly choked it away, but they did. It's all good as long as you close it out in game seven, get the NBA a little more ad revenue. Like, it's just genius. Our final game seven, kind of the least interesting, no disrespect, all-time Wizards and Bucks. Actually, I, I take back what I said. Milwaukee is a very interesting team. I, I gotta be honest, I don't want to see the Wizards win this game for content purposes. Oh my gosh, the all-time Wizards not tolerating any of my disrespect. They have this game tied in game seven. They're gonna do it. They, they're gonna upset this Bucks team. I, it's not even an upset. The Wizards were really good. There you go. There's a bucket. But Milwaukee was the first team I highlighted in the intro. They add Dirk. They add Dr. J. Come on, man. Of course we want to see them succeed here. It just makes sense. Dirk face up jumper. That's what he does. Goes off window for two. Washington adding George Mikan was sneakily like that was the move of this video of all the teams that could have grabbed him. It was an established squad. I'm just vamping now waiting for clutch shot. George Mikan over Kareem. That's not going to work. All right. I've been questioning coaching decisions quite aptly. I don't know what Steve uh, Kerr was doing in the last video. Milwaukee. Dirk for three. He bricked it. Oh, and they don't have Giannis on the court. I just saw Giannis. He is standing there with Dr. J waiting to check in. It's going to be too late. John Wall could hit him with a dagger right here. He's got a mismatch with Dirk on him. He pulls up for two. John Wall goes off glass and the Wizards are up two. The Bucks sub in Giannis and Dr. J coaching decisions just costing every... Oh, Stephon Marbury wide open. Doesn't kick the ball over to Dr. J. Doesn't shoot it. He's... Mm, Dirk contested. You're a good shooter, Dirk, but that was not a great look and it's over. I can't lie. I'm disappointed we're not seeing that awesome Bucks team advance, but shout out to these Wizards, man. They're deep. They're balanced. They added George Mike and yep. And here we are into our final four. Sacramento, Portland, Washington, Chicago. Truly unpredictable. I didn't see that coming. I don't think I've mentioned the all-time Kings at all. They're very good. Big O, Jerry Lucas, Nate Archibald. They picked up Mel Daniels for this video. Tyrese Halliburton, both draft picks. They signed this dude, Roger Brown, from undrafted free agency to go with DeMarcus Cousins. I was really hoping hoping the bad rosters would pick up the undrafted free agents, but it is what it is. Moses Clyde, Bill Walton, Dame Lillard. This is a strong Portland Trailblazers team. Not as good on paper as Sacramento, but we'll see. I've definitely showed the Bulls roster in this video. It's mm, not as many 90 overalls, but they do have Mike. They do have Derrick Rose. So fair enough. Just a whole lot of high 80s. Maybe these depth pieces are really coming through. And once again, I'll shout out the Wizards. I, I kind of wasn't excited to see them win, but they have a full first page of 90 overalls um okay i mean wes unseld being their best player is kind of weird but they are deep i can't i can't i gotta give them that man lord have mercy they're so deep they just swept the chicago bulls i can't even make it epic what are my what am i seeing that's honestly insane the east had so many amazing teams the hawks the celtics the knicks the Pistons. it goes on and on mj and the bulls the wizards just ran the show yes they picked up george mikan but even without him i bet they were gonna be dominant i i guess Ooh, we do have a clutch finish loading in the west those Sacramento up 3-2. I'm just going to say right now, I was disappointed. No Kobe, no LeBron in the playoffs. I mentioned it a bunch, but uh, these teams that we're going to have meeting in the finals, super unpredictable. That's kind of a W. Yep, n n not even a clutch finish here. It's a blowout in game six. Sacramento going to move on to face Washington. Did anybody see that coming? Tell me in the comment section. That, and if you say yes, then I'm going to say you're lying. It's that simple. Yo, Dame Lillard, 37 points. He really showed out for Portland. I mean, in a blowout lost, so it doesn't matter. Our finals matchup is set again. The all-time Kings and Wizards. Nobody saw that coming. These two teams are actually very, very similar. Sacramento does have 98 overall. Oscar Robertson, yes. But outside of that, not the flashiest names. There's no Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, Shaq in sight. No, just two really deep, strong teams. Also, it makes sense that the Washington Wizards franchise, through all their iterations, being the Bullets and all that, same as Sacramento being the Cincinnati Royals, they are two of the most historic longest running teams in NBA history. So yeah, they should have a lot of great drafted players. They've had so many years doing it. There you go. Ooh, and we are jumping right into it. No B-roll, no epic voiceover. It's 3-2 for the Wizards. They have a chance to close this series. We got to jump into this and hopefully get a clutch finish. Hopefully Sacramento pushes it to a game seven because there's nothing better in sports than a seventh game. Lord have mercy. It, it, it might happen. It might happen. Sacramento clinging to a two-point lead. Oscar's got great position inside. Can he make the left-handed nope. hook? No! 
Their best player, Oscar Robertson, just sold in the clutch. Washington got the stop they needed. Can they get a score now? Walt Bellamy inside West to Walt. Yeah, those dudes are really old. See, you can tell because of their names. That that was the joke. A anyways, I have no time for jokes right now, right? It's a tie game, game six, uh, the NBA finals. Everything's on the line. Oscar's going to work again. Again, he's got a mismatch in the post. Nope. Again, he goes to the left hand and bricks it. Wow, neither team calling a timeout. Uh, Washington has a timeout. They're just going for They're it. saying we're at home right now. We've had a great season. We're winning this thing. Earl Monroe. We saw John Wall hit a game winner from this spot last series. Earl Monroe! They call this man the Pearl because I don't know, but that was a huge shot. Oh my word, I'm an idiot. I, I'm such an idiot. Dude, usually these teams are taking timeouts. So I can reassess. I, I can focus my thoughts so my commentary doesn't make me I sound like an idiot now. I, I realize that, but it is what it is. For the win! The win! What? 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 This never happens. They never get... Oh, he got it off. He got here it is. The call is overturned. They, yes. Oh, wow. Absolute insanity. I, listen, I don't know if I, we've got game seven. I have made so many of these videos watching these Sims. I'm always watching those clutch moments. They never get that shot off, let alone make it. <laughs> I'm blown away. And it was DeMarcus Cousins. Now, please don't let this game seven be a letdown. It's tight through the first half. Oh no, Sacramento. They've got the momentum. Oh, but Washington's been able to claw back. They're only down four. This thing is going right down to the wire. Can Sacramento, after their ridiculous DeMarcus, the clutch shot. Can they just hold on, close this out? That's a three and it's off. Bill Sharman going to work for the Wizards. Ooh, over to Wes Unseld. That's a clutch dunk. Big O Oscar Robertson was so bad in the clutch in game six. He got bailed out. He He's not shooting this time. He's learned his lesson. Tiny Archibald with a clutch pull up. He's left-handed. It's sexy. Oh my word. Earl Monroe. He didn't shoot a wide open three. They get it into Wes again. Dude, Demarcus, can you play defense, my guy? The Kings. The Kings. Woo, that was almost a turnover. But now Jerry Lucas has a lane. But I don't know why he pulled up for a floater. Grabs his own rebound. That's just 2K at its finest right there. What a game. What a game. This is Bill Sharman. That's a clutch jumper. Nobody can get a stop here. Oscar made both free throws. The Wizards are out of timeouts. Will they shoot a three here. They can't keep yeah. trading twos. Oscar Robertson with a steal. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Oscar Robertson coming up huge for the all-time Kings when it matters most. And they indeed hold on after barely surviving game six. They win a game seven. And they become a truly unpredicted, unlikely champion of this video. I, 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 I did not see this coming, man. Huge congrats to the all-time Sacramento Kings with their drafted legends only. That is, wow. Yeah, Oscar deserved it. A near triple-double in the NBA Finals. <laughs> Very quickly, I decided to reset this whole thing, simulate one more season just to see what kind of result we got. Big O Oscar Robertson winning regular season MVP this time around. We had the exact same eight playoff teams in the East meeting. Still no Kobe in the Hornets, no LeBron in the Cavs. Too bad. In the West, though, some unpredictability, some movers and shakers. The LA Lakers most notably in there. The Clippers, still a playoff team. Don't know how they're doing but it. As I advanced to the NBA Finals, we did get two brand new teams in the finals, the all-time Hawks and the Trailblazers this time. I'm still shocked Golden State choked in both seasons I simmed, but uh, yeah, not the same can be said for the Hawks, who this time come through like they should have, a 4-0 sweep in the finals. Bob Cousy, man, rejected playing for the Hawks like 75 years ago. Well, there you go. He finally makes good. Please let me know down below what you thought of this video. Like I said, man, this roster is so fun to put together and the results genuinely unpredictable. I said it a million times. I, anyways, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Watch another video from my channel that I know you will too.